Now, I'm delighted to be joined at the City Calling Stadium after the El Clasico First Division match between Longford Town and Athlon Town by the Longford boss Neil Fenn. And Neil, recovering from that terrible start, going a goal down after just uh, uh, 60 seconds to record a good 5 1 win, but at the end of the day, it could have really been 12 13 1. It could. Um, we missed a good few chances today. Um, and it's hard to be it's hard to be harsh on the lads because we've won five one and um, to win any league final game five one is 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 good but like you say um, it could have been a lot more good a good few chances missed and obviously not keeping a clean sheet is disappointing yeah another defensive error a poor header and and McCullough latched onto a great finish by him from twenty odd yards out yeah it was a good finish a little bit of a mix up um, <coughs> I think the boys played for offside and the linesman didn't put his flag up because they weren't interfering a little bit of a mix up. Um, but we reacted well to that um, going behind and carried on what we were doing and um, kept the ball really, really well, which was, which was encouraging and creating chances. Um, as long as we're creating them, um, I'm happy. Now Evan Galvin, he played well tonight. A, a. Durvin, a competitive start this evening in the league game. He was very impressive once he settled down. Uh, Chris Mahal is in electrifying form. That's five goals and three assists in, in four games tonight. And Dean Byrne came on as a substitute against Wexford. He scored two goals and they could have had more. <laughs> he could have had a lot more, yeah. No, um, like you say, some really, really good performances today. Um, goals are getting spread out as well. Like I, like I said before, that, that's great for us when, when, we're, when we were missing a few attacking players as well. Um, so like you say, some of the boys who have played today haven't had a game this season, the likes of A, Chambers, Dean Byrne. So it's brilliant that they've, they've come in and done really, really well and, and managed to come and managed to get a couple of goals. Yeah, because Carroll proved last year that he's well more than capable of competing at this level. So it's great to have that option when you're missing so many first choice players. You're missing five players tonight. Of course, Peter Hopkins, the latest injury casualty on top of Darren Meenan, uh, Alan Kyo, and of course, the two lads who got sent off in the glade and Vernon last week uh, against Shell. So five players, good players missing tonight. Yeah, exactly. So it was a, it was a, it was a good time for the boys that who haven't been playing to step up, and they did really really well. Chambers is a lad who works hard, gives us a hundred percent all the time, and it's disappointing um, sometimes to leave him out because you know. But you have to pick a team, and when he does come into the team, he, he does a job, and we know he can do that job well. The same with A, who was um, excellent today. And another graduate from the underage uh, ranks, of course, uh, Tristan. He came on as a sub as well and, and played well, involved among the goals. Yeah, exactly. Tristan will, uh, came on a sub as well and, like you say, set up one of the goals and he's got really good quality going forward with his delivery as well. So, again, he'll be fighting for a position now in the in the first team, which is, which is good for us. The more players we've got knocking on the door, the better. And another player who has good deliveries of the ball and it so proved again tonight is Shane Elworthy. Shane Elworthy, again, a, a new player brought in. He's, he's, he's got good pace and um, his deliveries in the first half are very good. The second half, he, he hit a couple out, but look, as long as... We're getting into positions. We're you know we're creating chances again, and um, we're finishing them. And, and you know a good buzz about the place again tonight. Um, a lot of possession, a lot of chances, keeping the ball, limiting no limiting um, limiting Athlone to a couple of speculative efforts in the second half um, is really pleasing. And you mentioned this before the start of the season when we did our first interview. It's going to be a highly competitive league, and you were saying that there's going to be five or six teams vying for those four places, the automatic promotion, the playoffs, and, and you've been proven right because everyone has proven that they're capable of taking points off nearly everyone. Yeah, I was at the Galway <coughs> during the game last night, it was a really good game, two good teams and evenly matched, um, and Galway went two up and then Jordan came in and equalised with 10 men, and it's just, that's the way the league is this year, it's, it's really competitive, I don't think anyone will pull away, um, and you know, everyone can beat each other at the moment. And uh, just looking back at talk about last weekend, it's disappointing the way the team lost the game deep into stoppage time with that penalty at the end. Yeah, it's disappointing, but you know that happens in football. Um, hopefully, we'll get a rubber degree one day and get a penalty given to us in the in the ninety third minute, and we'll and we'll win the game. Now, next up is Galway, and they're in good form. Of course, they drop points against Strada, but uh, always difficult to go to United Park and, and get a result. So that was a good point for Galway. So that's the game in DC Park next Friday. So hopefully some of the players who are missing tonight will be back available for that contest. Yep, hopefully a few of those will be back. 
um, a tough place to go, but we're ready for it. We'll be full of confidence after tonight. Um, and then and then a big game against Shamrock Rovers on Monday as well. So we need the lads back fit. Um, we need a bit of confidence up after last week, which 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 today was, mm -hmm. and um, good weeks training, and, and we'll be ready to go. And that Shamrock Rovers game on the Easter Monday is a seven o'clock kickoff, I believe. Seven o'clock kickoff in in Tally, yeah. yeah. Well, Neil, thank you very much.